Alright, so um, in this video I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how I check gas pressure. Um, I like to check the um, incoming gas pressure as well as the manifold pressure. I'm going to be using the field piece manometers, job link manometers. So basically, uh, I've been running the furnace. We'll check the temp splits here shortly. But uh, go ahead and start with the gas pressure. So I just cut this gas valve off here. So here, as you can see, you've got your, this is your inlet. See, it's got the IN in for the gas valve. And this is the manifold pressure. So this is going to be, this your manifold. It's the gas pressure at the manifold after the, um, the gas uh, regulator, I mean, this gas valve. Just got my manometers here. And the kit comes with these adapters. Pretty cool. I'm gonna check both simultaneously. Just because I can. I'm just gonna use my service wrench here. You can use either your service wrench or Allen wrench, gas pressure on. Grab your adapter, screw that in like such, go on there, make sure you don't lose those, That's, if that gets lost you're really uh, in a bad position. I keep a uh, spare, just an old furnace that I've keep around just for those types of occasions because if you drop them in the attic they're gonna fall in the most impossible to find place I've done it before I'm gonna have that one really tight not necessarily tight In your manifold pressure, <coughs> nominal pressure should usually be around 3.5 inches of water column. Inlet pressure should be between 7 and uh, maybe about 7, 10 inches of water column. And that you can read on this 3.5, and then you got 10.5 for the uh, inlet manifold pressure, 3.5, 10.5, 4 4.5 minimum measurements. So there we go. You reset them by pressing the button. When it flashes twice blue, then you reset. See that? Zero it out. Spike in your inlet pressure once I open this valve. So you have to, you'll see. Open up the gas valve. Eight point five. So make sure it's perfect. Got eight point five. That's good. And what you really want to see is make sure that number doesn't drop too low. You don't want it to drop below that 4.5 when it's running. So let's make sure these are snug enough. Make sure these are on tight. Just 
thing is trying to fire up. In the meantime, just inspect everything, make sure everything's looking good. So we're watching now, we got um, 8.33 inlet pressure. You can see we've got zero on the manifold side here. So the furnace is about to start up. We're going to see what this drops down to. What our 8.3 shouldn't go below 4, um, 4.5 inches. So it looks like, nice, so it dropped about an inch for water column, 7.34, we got 3.45 manifold. So this is our manifold pressure here, this is reading this, and this is our inlet pressure. So we usually want the manifold pressure to be around 3.5 um, inches of water column. That's looking good actually. You just want to make sure that um, stays stable, which it is. It's pretty rock solid. We got a difference from 3.96 inches between the in incoming and the manifold, which is good. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and do now. always want to make sure you don't force these threads it's like an aluminum body so just make sure you get those threads right and don't over tighten okay. what I'm going to do is purge this a little bit as well So there you go. That's how you um, use the field piece JL3 MN manometers to check your uh, manifold pressure and your inland pressure for your gas valve. Um, like I said, the manifold pressure, I mean, the inlet pressure is adjusted using the regulator, and the manifold pressure is adjusted using this here gas valve um, screw. Well, there's a, a there's a screw underneath this screw. This is just a cap. All right. Well, let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.